What's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. Samsung has officially unveiled their two new flagship phones, the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge. And here are my first impressions of both of these phones. First off, the design is great. Both of these phones feature Gorilla Glass 4 on the front and the back and it's just a very premium design where they use very lightweight materials but they feel solid they feel durable and when you put them in your hand it's a very nice grip and i was a little bit worried about the glass being a little bit slippery but that wasn't the case with the both of these phones and color options you have white pearl black sapphire gold platinum blue topaz and with the s6 edge you have a green emerald option which is one of the ones that really stand out when you hear green on the cell phone it doesn't really sound like it will work but this definitely does work on the s6 edge now the expense of making these phones look and feel better you don't have the option to remove your battery anymore and also you don't have the option to expand your storage with a micro sd card now both of these phones have 5.1 inch quad hd super amoled displays that have a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and a rocking 577 ppi but the one difference with the s6 edge is that it's a curved display on both sides and it looks absolutely amazing because you don't have this sharp cutoff when you're watching a video. Uh, the video can fold over and basically it just allows you to be a little bit more immersed into what you're watching on the display. And it's just something you really have to see. I don't even know if this camera could even do it justice. Once you see it in real life, you'll see all the sharp and vivid details you're able to get out of a great looking video on a great display that's on the S6 Edge. And again, it still looks just as good on the Galaxy S6, but that curved display is just something that's very unique that allows you to, again, just to get a little bit more into the content that you're watching. And when it comes to battery of life, the S6 has a 2,550 milliamp battery, where the S6 Edge has a 2,600 milliamp battery, but both feature wireless charging and just better uh, compatibility with WPC and PMA wireless charging pads. So basically any charging pad out there for the most part, you'll be able to use. And if you do want to charge it the old way by using a wire, it's gonna be about 1.5 times faster than the S5. So that basically equates to just by plugging it in for 10 minutes, you'll get about four hours of usage. Now last year Samsung introduced a fingerprint scanner with the Galaxy S5, but you had to swipe your finger down, which really wasn't the best method. But now they improved that by allowing you just to have to touch your finger on the home button very similar to what touch id is on the iphone but you simply just touch your finger down and it will quickly unlock your phone now camera wise both of these phones feature five megapixel front facing cameras that have a wider field of view so you can get a lot more people in for your selfies and the rear facing camera is a 16 megapixel shooter with ois optical image stabilization it also has quick launch now so no matter what you're doing in the software you can double tap the home button and it will launch the camera pretty quickly so you can go ahead and take a picture of that moment right when you need it and now it does have infrared detect white balance improved low light video and also tracking autofocus so that means you want to keep one subject in your video in focus you simply tap on them now and you'll be able to keep them in focus as they move around and you pan your camera around this is a feature that you see in digital cameras but it's coming to these two new galaxy phones now moving on to software both of these phones are running android 5.0 lollipop and of course they do have touch Wiz on top of that and one of my biggest complaints about touch Wiz in the past is that it was just way too much it just felt a little too bloated um, and then Samsung was just trying to throw everything in there and the kitchen sink but they have dialed that back now with these two new phones and I'm really enjoying it because the settings are just a little bit more organized everything is just a little bit more concise and it's just less is more and that really is working now uh, with this new version of touch Wiz. and there's also better multitasking you can have multiple apps running at the same time and then if you just want to get rid of them you can minimize them into these little bubbles and move those bubbles around on your screen but what about the s6 edge how does this software take advantage of the curved displays on this new phone but well, one thing is that if you do swipe over from the right hand side you'll see a list of your favorite contacts and they can be family members or friends but you can tap on them and you'll have a few different quick actions like text them right away um, and also you can assign them different colors now why would you want to assign them a color well with the s6 edge if you were to place it face down on a desk and you walk away and somebody was to send you a text message it will light up in red or blue whatever Whatever colors you assign to them so you can know exactly who's trying to contact you without having to run over to your phones and real quick a couple extra things Samsung will be releasing an updated version of their gear VR that will work with the s6 and the x6 edge and also they announced Samsung pay which is a mobile payment system that doesn't require one of those NFC terminals you can actually use it with the conventional Mac stripe terminals which are pretty much everywhere that you use to swipe your credit card so Samsung has more information about that and they'll be releasing that later on in the summer and 
And so with this hardware and the software, Samsung is really trying to make a statement that they're here to stay, that they're gonna to continue to be innovative. And again, just with my little time with both of these phones, it looks like they're on the right track. And I think they do have two winners on their hands. But again, these are just my first impressions of these two phones. They launched worldwide on April the 10th, but stay tuned for more coverage and definitely leave a comment down below what you think about these two phones. They've been talked about for a while. I'm interested to see what you think about them. But like always, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.